graduates of the class of 2014. Because of you, this is my most meaningful Washington College commencement yet. I arrived on campus just six weeks before you did, in July of 2010. You were the first class I've been privileged to follow for all four of your undergraduate years. I helped many of you move into your dorms on opening day. I was told I got some street cred that morning by wearing my Bonnaroo t-shirt <laughs> instead of my usual suit and tie. And then I had to watch all of you wearing t-shirts emblazoned with my face during your orientation. Remember this? <laughs> I promise you that was not my idea. Do you remember back that far what it like to be the new person, experiencing so much new freedom along with so much new responsibility, maybe trying a little too hard to impress people, and full of questions. Will I fit in and make friends in this new community? Will the professors like me? And am I really prepared? And does the first lady really expect me to memorize the alma mater? <laughs> yes, these were the kind of questions we asked ourselves. Because four years ago, when you were new at being college students, I was new at being a college president. We've all grown more confident together, learning from our experiences and celebrating our successes. We've grown to love this place and to value the people and traditions that are its heart and soul. We've all weathered a lot together, literally. Hurricanes Sandy and Irene, the longest winter ever, even Chestertown's first earthquake. We partied at birthday balls that evoked Alice in Wonderland, The Great Gatsby, The Wizard of Oz, and Harry Potter. You set some records even before you arrived. You were the largest and most diverse incoming class in our history, and you were pretty smart too with SAT and ACT scores higher than any class in the previous decade. You leave us as one of our most accomplished classes as well. You've staged powerful performances on the Decker stage, Arcadia, Clybourne Park, and King Lear come to mind. You've made amazing music, including a thrilling Carmina Burana by a newly formed Washington College chorus and an invigorated orchestra. You produced three Fulbright Scholarship winners. You performed graduate level research in the sciences and professional level work in the GIS lab. You heard from some of the country's finest writers, Colin McCann, Juno Diaz, Natasha Trethaway, Neil Gabler, Walter Isaacson, and many others. You heard from men who've made history, former Marine Corps General James Mattis, former Pakistani President Pravaz Musharraf, investigative reporter Seymour Hirsch, Nobel Prize winning chemist Mario Molina, former FBI Director Louis Free, and political strategist David Axelrod. You've thought deeply about tough issues, such as human trafficking, sexual assault, climate change, terrorism, and the failures in our food system. When tragedy struck this past fall with the death of a member of the junior class, your leadership as RAs and peer mentors, role models and friends, helped the entire campus to heal. I was so proud of the way the community pulled together to mourn and support each other. During your four years here, you have made our new Hillel House a home, welcomed Gus the Goose as our mascot, and given up trays in the dining room. <laughs> you suffered through the short-term construction plans for the long-term pleasures of a thoroughly renovated Miller Library, an expanded Johnson Fitness Center, a bright new admissions visitor center, and a whole new design for our website. You've left a remarkable record of community service, from Relay to Life and Habitat, to Best Buddies and food drives for the food bank. You've walked together through the streets, many of you men in red high heels, to raise awareness for domestic violence. You watched our lacrosse team defeat Salisbury in the 2013 War on the Shore. And you tried to storm the field in celebration, only to be deterred by a very large German shepherd in the canine unit. You turned 21 and were finally able to attend happy hour at the Imperial and Team Tuesdays at the Bluebird, even if Trisha had to check your IDs twice. 
You were the last class to experience real I-house parties. <laughs> Although I must confess to not being real sure what those entailed. <laughs> Did the I stand for inquiry? Hmm, probably not. And just think, the last time your class was all assembled on this great lawn was for fair play during your freshman orientation. Surely the most awkward icebreaker ever invented. In sports, you've hit so many high notes, breaking swimming records, starring in basketball movies, and competing for championships. This past year, our head trainer, Thad Moore, was selected as the NCAA Division III Athletic Trainer of the Year. In lacrosse, both head coaches, Jeff Shirk and Heidi Yetman, were named Centennial Coaches of the Year. And the men's lacrosse team, having won the conference championship for the first time since 2003, is now headed to the D3 semifinals tomorrow. But wait, there's more. The crew teams each won Mid-Atlantic Rowing Conference titles, and the women are heading to the Division III Championship Regatta later this month. Our sailors, our sailors are headed to the Co-Ed Championship Regatta in June. And all the time, you have demonstrated good sportsmanship and teamwork and shared sacrifice. These values will serve you well for the rest of your lives. Graduates, as citizen leaders of the 21st century, you'll be called upon to answer many tough questions. What is the proper role of government and the rights and responsibilities of citizenship? How do we renegotiate our relationship with the environment? What is the appropriate balance between privacy and security? What does it mean to be human if 90% of the human body can be replicated? As graduates of Washington College, you know that these tough questions call for an open mind, careful thought, and deep reflection. The world you're inheriting is getting faster and more cluttered with information every day. In 10 years' time, 5 billion people will have smartphones, and many of them will probably be downloading cat videos. How do you escape from all the noise to reflect on what is truly important in your lives? How do you filter the genuine from the simulated? In the midst of all this speed, give yourself permission to take a few seconds before answering a question. And pause to listen to that inner voice that speaks to what is right or wrong, what we call moral courage. This is your compass and your North Star. On this spectacularly beautiful day on Maryland's eastern shore, look around you at the faces of your friends and professors. This is your life, unplugged. Don't forget this feeling. You've studied with each other, hung out with each other, competed with each other, and cared for each other. You've argued and debated with each other. You've consoled each other when we've had setbacks. You've celebrated your victories together. You've established a bond down through the ages with our personal founding father, George Washington. You've grown intellectually and in maturity. In other words, you've become a class together, the class of 2014. <laughs>